In this video on Programming Basics, we introduce the fundamental programming constructs. A computer program is a series of statements or instructions that are executed or run one after the other. All but the most trivial of programs tend to follow the same pattern. Accept input, process data and produce output. A program is a series of statements. As you write statements in your code, you'll be producing programming constructs that control the flow of the program. No matter what procedural language you have learned, all the statements you write will fall into one of three broad programming constructs, sequence, selection, and iteration. To explain these constructs, we will use extracts from this Python program called beat that dice. So let's start by looking at sequence. Sequence means executing one instruction after another. By default, when your program isn't doing something like selection or iteration, it reverts to executing statements in sequence, one after the other. Selection allows a program to branch and follow a different direction depending on the outcome of a condition. The if statement is typically the first selection command you learn. If a certain condition is true, then execute this particular line of code. Otherwise or else, execute this other line of code. We can see two examples here on the screen. And finally, we have iteration or looping. And this means repeating sections of code. For loops, also known as count controlled loops or definite iteration, are used when the required number of iterations is known ahead of time. While loops, known as condition controlled loops or indefinite iteration, are used when the required number of iterations is not known because the variable used to determine when the iteration ends is changing within the iteration itself. We've got an example on the screen there now. Do until loops are an alternative to while loops, where the code executes at least once before the condition is checked. So if we just look at these two condition controlled loops, We'll see the while loop might not actually, at the top there, be run once, while answer is not equal to computer. So that's being evaluated, and there's a chance that that loop will not be entered, so the code inside could be run zero times. With a do unto loop, do the following line of code until answer equals computer. The conditions being checked at the end that guarantees the line of code will be run at least once as a minimum. Now, although the language you've learned may not use these commands, you still need to be aware of loops that check conditions both at the start and also at the end of the iteration. It's also possible for us to nest statements inside one another. This can be achieved with both iteration and selection statements. So here you can see we have a for loop inside a while loop. While solved is not equal to true, do this stuff inside the while loop. And while we're in there, we have a count controlled loop for i in range one to five. So we have a loop nested within a loop. Here we have an if statement nested within an if statement. So if game one equals true, we enter the outer if statement. And within there, we then say if score is greater than high score. So an if nested within an if. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What are the three primary programming constructs? And what do we mean by nesting constructs?